We've managed to get the first two elephants in. They hit the road an hour ago, but the last two are proving to be much more difficult. Convincing them to go in is going to be a lot tougher. Now, whenever the elephants travel, there's always a vet with us. The vet's actually trying to give them a sedative. Okay, they managed to inject one of them, but Kinna has run away before they could empty the syringe. Kinna's really upset now. You can tell she's looking out of the corner of her eye. She knows that something bad is going on behind her. Now, did that work? Oh, you know, I mean, that's just so ironic. It just went so well with those first two. And I thought, yes, we're in, and maybe it'll just be easy. But these actually are the older two, and this is turning out to be much, much more difficult. I think the sedative's beginning to work. So Yatta should be pretty much ready to go in. She's just, just slowly, slowly relaxing. But Kinna? I just don't know about you at all. I bet all she wants right now is to be back with Emily. Here they go. They're going to try and get Yatter in. Well, this just shows you how powerful a young elephant is. Okay, go on. In you go, in you go, in you go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, three down, one to go. But I've got real doubts about Kenna. I want to stay and see what happens to her, but I just can't afford to lose the others. Right, off we go. I've got a race to try and catch up with the others. They're way ahead by now. We've had to leave Kinna behind. I mean, she's been jabbed, she's had an injection, but whether they managed to get her into a truck or not and get her to Ithumba, I just haven't got a clue. I'll be amazed, to be honest, if they do. But three elephants in trucks, three elephants for those little babies from the Nairobi orphanage, I mean, that is just so important. It's what it's all about. They need the security of a bigger elephant right now. They need a matriarch, somebody to rally around. And the irony is, I was so sure that it was going to be Kinna. To me, she seemed to be a leader. She was feisty. She was always bellowing her head off. She always wanted to get back towards where Emily was, leading the troops. And blow me if we haven't had to leave her behind. 